Okay. Use this guy. Anyway, for you people that don't know much about politics, uh, his name is Scott Bryson. And Scott Bryson is an MP from Nova Scotia. Fra Scott Bryson uh, is gay. And Scott Bryson uh, was the first MP to be uh, married or declared legally married um, in Ottawa. And uh, he's a good man. And I found out that he retired last year after 20 years. And I told a few people, and they said, you know what, I'm going to do a little video on this. So, I remember, I feel like an old man, I am old, I remember, I remember. Um, it was the middle of the term of Sean Graham. Sean Graham was Premier. And they had a party at the Delta. So, I don't know how I weaseled my way in. I don't know. I knew it was a party. And everybody was drinking drunk and... So next thing you know, uh, Scott Bryson, I didn't even know Scott Bryson was in, in the city. And uh, he just announced uh, about a week, two weeks earlier that he was gay. So I see him, I said, oh, so when I let, you know, let people talk to him. And then I got him alone. I said, hey, Scott, uh, Mr. Bryson. And he was minister at the time. Yeah. And uh, there were some people around him. And then I said, can I talk to you for, for a second? So I started telling him the story about the great Lou Murphy in St. John. Lou Murphy was an MLA for Milford, Milford area, West St. John. It was a good, good MLA. And uh, Murphyville, maybe people remember that. Anyway, he, uh, it was the time of, uh, so I started telling him the story about Elizabeth Weir, first time she got elected, the first thing she did was, I like to thank the gay movement for the support. And um, except, except thanking the labor movement that put all the money in her campaign, she thanked the gay movement. And then I was talking to Lou Murphy about that. So next thing you know, while I was telling uh, the story, I'm jumping here, follow me. The story, next thing you know, these people so, oh my God, there's Charles talking to the minister. Oh, Charles, stop it. Stop, Charles, don't talk. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it was so disgusting. I tried to finish my story and they, they just panicked because he just announced he was gay. And, oh, the blogger is here. And, oh, I'm coming. So then I, I go, uh, Scott, let's step outside for one second. And I continued... I said, can I, uh, can I continue my story? He says, very polite, he says, uh, please, 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 continue. And then I said, um, so I continued by saying how, you know, to Lou Murphy, what Elizabeth where you know, she should have taken the, gay, the, the labor movement first and all that. Lou Murphy looks at me, and I told Scott Bryson, I said, uh, Lou Murphy said, one of these days, we'll have to recognize those people's rights. So, it was right there that I found out what the great Lou Murphy was all about. So, Scott Bryson, the guy you see behind me, he said, he replied, he says, uh, boy, I got brain cells, that's good. He says, it looks like this Mr. Murphy was way ahead of his time. I said, yep. Yeah. So I seen Scott and then people came out, came out and start, you know, like interfering and apologizing. So anyway, I, I went back inside and I didn't stay long. So the next day at the Delta, I arrived there and uh, Andy Scott was there. Andy Scott was standing downstairs with Scott Bryson and I looked and I said, uh, I seen uh, Scott Bryson there. He said, Mr. LeBlanc. I said, Scott, 
I wish to apologize for on behalf of, uh, I wish to apologize for all those idiots that was freaking out last night. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. No, Scott Bryson is gone and uh he's uh he's a nice guy. And uh yeah, that was just that just gave me a flashback. This is just something to rant about. And I'm back in Friday 10, so let the war begin. Okay, what 